Welcome to the Flow Builder. The Flow Builder is a powerful tool that lets you build automated content flows with triggers, actions, and filters. With flows, you can generate, sequence, and merge prompts and actions in order to create simple to complex, customizable automations. Now that's all just fancy speak for being able to set up AI content automation in a really cool way. I'm gonna run through the process of building a simple flow to demonstrate how this tool can be used. Before we get started, let's chat about the interface. On the right of the screen is the flow canvas. This is where you drag in your triggers and actions and filters to build a flow. On the left lives those triggers, actions, and filters. Let's build a simple automation that creates a blog post every Monday at 10 a.m. and emails it to us for approval, and once approved, gets automatically pushed to WordPress. Let's start by naming our flow. Let's drag in the day week trigger and set it to Monday at 10 a.m. with the correct time zone. Now let's drag in the instruct action. This is an action that allows you to type in your own prompt. For this prompt, we will ask the AI to create a blog post on content marketing. In order for the prompt to run every Monday at 10 a.m., we need to link the two together. Now let's get the flow to send us the content once it's complete so that we can either approve or reject it. You'll notice that there are now two paths in pink that we can follow for approve or reject. What is gonna happen here is that every Monday at 10 a.m. in the Arizona time zone, the AI will write a blog post on content marketing. It will then email it to me. And if I'm happy, I can approve or reject it. But right now the content is blank we need to link the output from the prompt to the email so we can view what was actually created in the prompt. To do this, link the content from the instruct action to the content in the human approval filter. While we're here, it's important to note that each trigger, action or filter has its own documentation. If you're unsure about what an item does, please click the documentation link at the top right of the item. Once this flow runs and sends us the email for the approval, we need to set the next step so the system knows what to do once we have approved or rejected the content. We will automatically be posting this to WordPress once we approve the content. To do that, drag in the WordPress action item. Make sure that you have linked your WordPress blog to content part in order for this to work. If rejected, we will simply do nothing at this point. In the near future, we will have the option to rerun the previous instruction if rejected. In the next example, we're going to be doing the same thing as in the first example, but I have a bit more control. Let's start by dragging in the same day week item and then the instruct action. Mm -hmm. 
For the first instruct action, we will ask the AI to create a blog title on content marketing. We will now drag in the combine action to use the blog title and a new prompt. You will notice that the combine action will combine the first and second text to create one text and we will use that for our next instruct action. So what this will say is write a blog post on and then the output from the previous instruct action where we asked it to create a blog title. Now, once that's been run, we would like to run it through the plagiarism checker. We will only continue if the uniqueness score is above 90%. This means that 10% or less has been detected as duplicate content. To do this, drag in the check field filter. So what we're saying here is check if the uniqueness score of part A is greater than 80. If that is true, then we would like to save it as a document on Content Bot. We already have a blog title and we have the blog post. So to do that, I suggest putting this back here. Here we have the title. And here we have the blog post. And that is it. Once a flow has been completed, you can view the log file for the events that took place while the flow was running. To do that, please go to the flows page. On the flows page, click the menu item for the item in question, then click history. This is a test run we did earlier, but you will notice that we've logged six events in this flow. To view the events, click View Events. And here you can see that this flow started at 20 past four, where we asked it to run at the quarter of an hour to create a blog post on content marketing, which it did create. It was then awaiting approval. It was then approved. And two minutes later, it was the document was created. Please note that the Flow Builder is still in beta and we rely heavily on your feedback to improve the product. Over the next few months, we will be adding in many more triggers, filters and actions. Until next time, goodbye.